Koi Boy Games. Hello and welcome back to Koi Boy Games. I'm your host, Nathan, from Weekend with the Weebs. And this is the second part of the second mission of Devil May Cry. Now, it may be a bit late by the time I'm posting this, but um, I had a lot of trouble with my mic and I was like, you know, crap in my pants because I'm like, shit, now I gotta, you know, throw out some dough. Uh, but, you know, it's all good. Some, uh, you know, nice man on. The, the YouTubes help me. Um, if this was a bigger channel, I'd shout out the name, but it really isn't. So, uh, you know, that's that's all good. Um, tears. Uh, oh, okay. Got a cutscene. Oh shit, it's syphilis. Now it's messing with his mind, too. Dante, did you have to go and get all the STDs? Why? Alright. We are back with Squidward. Uh, just chilling there chilling up there. Maybe it's the flying spaghetti monster. I don't know. Does anyone know? Does anyone really know anything? Like, when you think of perception, like, it's... Your mind doesn't physically feel anything, so, like, you know... Am I dreaming? What you smell is just how your brain perceives it. That's why, like, a bunch of people can see colors differently, you know? It's like, what other than the general perception of reality? Okay, that, that got way too deep. I'm I'm so sorry, but you know, sometimes you got to get deep. <laughs> All right, now we can pull things. That's cool. Oh yeah. I don't know why that excited me cuz I've played through this game before. Um so, yeah, that's that's kind of weird, but you know, it is what it is, you know. You can always get um excited about new and different things. Or I guess the same thing in this case. I don't know, I'm really tired. I just came back from work. Um, you know, and, you know, that, that whole stress with the mic, uh, really, really wasn't doing me well, uh, because it was kind of a, I don't want to say it was a hard day today, it just, like, it's kind of one of those days that kind of dragged on a bit too long, personally. I know this is going to sound weird, but I don't like shorter shifts, because... You know, they seem longer for some reason, because you're, like, counting the hours. I'd rather have, like, you know, a seven-hour shift or something, and, like, you know, go to lunch halfway through, because then you get that kind of refresher, like, oh, I can do this. You know, so. Also, Joe posted a new video on the channel. So you should go check that out. It's uh, it's in reference to our last podcast. Um, the second one we're planning on doing tomorrow too. So stay tuned for that. All right, got to jump here. Okay. What now? Yes. Oh wait, wait. We need to. We need to attack it. The gonorrhea. There we go. There we go. No, wait, no, no. <laughs> I always have mic trouble because I'm like, and that's why, like, I apologize for some of the boss fight getting cut out there, but it's really hard um, once this goes. I'm using Upload Studio, uh, so it's really hard once it goes to see what clips actually I used. Um, and I I'm still learning with this. It's not perfect, but we'll see. We'll get there. We'll get there. Okay. Together. So what else have you got? We're all in this together. Every... Oh, it's a small vital star. Yeah, I ate that boy. 
Oh, I should really stream 5, because, like, looking back on this, so much more happened in 5. I mean, this one isn't bad. Uh, mm, uh, should I? No, no. I'm not going to. Did we? I think I should play like Call of Cthulhu next or something, because that was, was a game I tried. I, I get, you know, uh, a lot of games from, this is going to sound weird, but the library behind me has some. So pretty much like, I can get what I want when it comes out, um, if it's like well known enough. So, yeah. Sparta! They're here! Or as I like to say, on, Nani. Quickly. Oh yes, yes. The obvious things once again. It's a shielded bathos. Okay. This is easy. We just take off their shields with the crab. <clears throat> Slice the ever-living daylight out of them. So, I, I feel like I should tell a story here, but I don't know which one to tell, because, to be honest, my I wanted to do a whole video on it, but I didn't think it was enough material, and that that church poop joke was... Alright. Oh! Oh, I got one. Okay. So, I call this one the Receipt Crusader. So, um, there was this guy at one of my jobs um, I used to have and I remember it uh, I don't know what this was but it's just kind of a kind of a retail horror story here so I was there and um, so you know I mean I'm assuming people who watch this have bought stuff but so when you pay with a credit card you put it in the machine right this this is in the era of chips too so you put that yeah. boy in and then it like Hello? takes the money um, from the card and you, you sign for it. Well, I get done. This guy seemed okay. He was an older gentleman. And we, we, we wrote it down, okay? Like, like he wrote his signature and it was all good. So the receipt's printing out, the transaction's complete. And then as I'm handing him the receipt and his products that are all bagged, he's like, well, I can't accept this. And I'm like, why not? We just, you know, we just did the transaction. Is everything all right? Is there anything I can do? And then he gets really defensive. He's like, well, by national law, I should have a way to sign this physically. Because my digital signature isn't good enough. And I'm like, I do not believe there's a way to do that. But, sir, I'll get a manager for you. So, you know. I, I end up getting the manager, and uh, they're like, no, sir, there's unfortunately no way. And he's like, well, you're legally required to, you know, have one of those machines that, like, does that. And they're like, we know what you're talking about, but, like, you know, no one, no one, it's, it's very hard to find those anymore, sir. And he's like, then he, he gets even, like, more, oh, oh, oh. Oh, Dante's getting media now. Okay. It's a nice weapon. Oh, what's going on here? Okay. Oh, this is that. Okay, yeah. I know my story too. What? What the hell? What the hell? Well, I guess I guess the suspense is killing you on this really, really shit story. Okay, so back to that story. I love this weapon, by the way. But back to the story. Um, so this man then continues to. He, he pulls up like this article on, I swear it was Wikipedia, and he's like, no, this is an international law, you have to like, you know, get down right now and 
get me this machine to, like, have me sign. So then, like, both me and the manager are there, and we're like, okay, um, they're, like, we're like, sorry, sir, there really isn't anything, you know, we can do at this point, and he's like, well, I'm gonna have to bring this up to corporate, because every other corporation, you know, like, has, you know, dealt with me properly on this, because this is the law, and, like, the guy, like, got, started getting, like, I forgot what he said, but he got, like, patriotic, like, he's defending the law, and it was really confusing to me, it's like, so, I, I just don't get it, like, you know, that, that's the one law you choose to, oh, crap, I fell, that's, <laughs> That's the one law you choose to defend, you know? Like, it's like, it's, it just doesn't make any sense, you know? And it's like, okay, if you really want to, like, you know, defend law and, you know, protect the country, and granted, the guy was cool. a bit older, but, you know, and I, I don't know if he did, but, like, you know, there's still things you can do, like, you know... I mean, obviously, if you were younger, you know, you could join the military, you could join the police force, you could just, you know, work somewhere and, you know, just, like, benefit to society, and not saying he wasn't, but it's, it's the whole thing of, like, why, it, it just baffles me that that, that was, like, the one thing, and you, you could tell by the way he was talking, he literally, like, probably goes, like, every day, gets up, or, like, at least once a month, and, like, Every time he goes to a store, he pushes this issue, as that was kind of what he was saying. And it was just, it was really, really baffling to me. It was, I, I did not understand it at all. <laughs> um, and yeah, it's like, even, like, it's like, okay, you want to, like, uphold laws or, like, help make them? It's like, start simple. Like, that guy could go to a town council meeting. I don't, I don't know. It just, it just, it seemed... <laughs> so 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 weird and uh you know it's it's one of those experiences of retail um i could just start my own little mini series maybe i'll do that experiences of retail because there are some there's some weird ones like that that's more the weird ones like it wasn't an unpleasant experience like the guy the guy was an okay guy like he just was kind of pushing this too far uh, he didn't really make me feel threatened or anything. The funny part, though, was his wife was like, oh, oh, come on, like, man, like, just, like, let's keep going, because she was there, too. And, you know, I, I don't know. It just, <laughs> it's one of those things. Nice. Oh, what's, what's another one? Okay, okay. So this this is another one. This is also a place I used to work. I've worked a bunch of. I'm not you know revealing company names because you know I I don't want to you know bring the company into this. This is not professional. Like um, most of the ones I'm talking about, I genuinely did enjoy working at. However, I have had some jobs that were oof. Uh, so you know I'm not gonna bring the company in. I'll say was it retail? Was it food? So I was at another retail place, and I remember one day, um, we had like a Halloween costume section, right? So this, this one girl comes in, and she's looking for a wig, um, but I was, I was, I was the cashier at the time, and she's like, great, this wig will be great, so I don't have to like, wash my hair, and she had a full set of hair, so it wasn't like she was like, bald or anything. Um, not like that would have made it any better, because you still need to, you know, wash your body. Um, and then, it was really weird, because she, she pulled out this, this backpack from that, like, Trolls movie. I don't remember when that thing was made. Uh, it, <laughs> it wasn't really good. I don't think it was, like, a DreamWorks thing. I don't know. I never watched it. So, anyhow, she pulls out, like, this backpack, and, as my manager described, this could be someone from... Uh, 15 to 25, we were real, no, 15 to 30, that was the exact quote, it was really, really weird, and she pulls out this backpack, and on it, it has the, where, I don't know, the long neck character from that, but there's a pin over his face, 
It's a big old uh, Charles Manson, who's a uh, serial killer. Well, he didn't kill anyone, but he kind of like created a cult that killed people. Um, and yeah, it was really, really weird. And it like had the he has a swastika on his head, so it had it like the swastika like on his head on the pin too, and it was just really weird. Then to make this even weirder, they reach into their like backpack and pull out like this handmade like money box, and I'm like just thinking like you know I I'm not one to judge. But just this whole situation was really strange, because it's like, okay, you don't, you don't have a wallet, you have a money box in a backpack, and then they opened it up, and they had, like, 20 bucks. It's like, you know, like, I don't even normally bring my wallet out unless I have to pay credit. Like, if I just have 20 bucks, I'll put that boy in my pocket. Like, you know, not saying everyone should live life that way, but, you know, I, I think a lot of people can see how this situation is a bit of a strange one. Uh, I, I have one other story, and that is, uh, that's a fun one, um, it has to deal with, uh, when I worked at a store that sold fish, <laughs> but, uh, or just pet items in general, um, once again, not revealing names, uh, for, for the security of that, like, anyone's gonna watch this, but, it, you know, that, that, I got time, okay. So, there was this one lady, she was, she was pretty cool at first, and she had plecos, which are those, like, sucker fish, right? Those big, those big, like, brown ones, you know? They are, like, the staple of every tank. They are great fish, I love them. Uh, I have one myself, it's a miniature one, though, it's a crystal nose. So, um, yeah, so she's like, oh, they're my babies and stuff, and she was looking for a light, so I directed her to a light, you know? Um, and then, it ends up, she comes back the next day, um, saying... Like, she had all this algae everywhere, which I'm like, okay, and they're algae eaters, so I'm like, that's strange, although they do get old and stuff happens, but I was like, what? And then, um, she's like, yeah, I'd turn off the light, and now they're really pissed at me, and they're literally trying to kill me. They're, like, plotting, and I'm like, okay, so, this is strange, like, this is very strange, so I'm like... Okay, and I then no I eventually got my manager, and they described the tank, and it was a tank from, like, the 50s. This was a really old model. Like, this was when they still had, like, bulb lights from, you know, oh god, like, like, from, like, for, like, your bulb TV almost as, like, the lights, like, they were these huge things, you know, now it's just little LDD strips. And LED strips are a lot more powerful. So, then they're getting, like, all mad on me, and I'm like, you know, I'm just saying, like, never well, first off, your plecos that. aren't trying to kill you. And my manager's like, yeah, they're they're nocturnal. That's, you know, they get more active at night. They're, they're gonna, like, you know, eat more. And then I tried, you know, I'm like, okay, well, you could get some stuff to control the nitrate, which would take out the, uh... That's why yeah, that's kind of a dick move on Dante's dad's part, Until though, now. wiping their memory. Uh, but, you know, just the whole thing was really weird, and, uh, I tried, like, helping them get the algae, like, out, but they're like, no, they're trying to, like, they, they just thought their, like, plecos were trying to kill them, and it was, it was just really, really weird. It was a bizarre day, and I felt bad, because I'm like, I kind of want to help this person, and, you know, it... it what they did was like the the equivalent of you know buying a like let's say PS4 Xbox One game and putting it in a NES uh, Nintendo, wondering why it doesn't work. Like that, that's not even a stretch compared to how different the, you know, systems are, um, I'm getting out of here. but it was just really, really bizarre, like, and anyone could tell, like, that is not the light that goes in that kind of tank, and nor do they make it, like, the manufacturer will not, like, they moved on to bigger and better things, like, I, I don't know, I don't know, <laughs> but it's okay not to know.
Oh, hey, it's Virgil. You're my brother. Oh, dang. All right, well, that's about going to do it I'm for this video, place. anyhow. Um, thanks for joining me once again moment, in Koi Boy Gaming. This other. is the currently third installment. Um, as I said, uh, Weekend with Weaves will be having their third podcast tomorrow, it's looking like. I don't know, we all have busy schedules. Uh, we're, just, we're just trying to make it in this this crazy life, but, you know, it's, it's kind of fucking fun sometimes. So... You know, Where we come from. What I we I will see y'all later, all, and responsible for us. I re yeah, I really don't know when this cutscene's gonna end, but you know, I'll just keep commentating till it's over, cause you know, that's totally what a professional does. Oh, oh, oh yeah, guys, I still need to watch that new JoJo's episode, and I am like pumped, like I am like. Is Giorno gonna just, like, take Diavolo and, like, go up his ass like Ant-Man Thanos? That was the true ending. You can't tell me otherwise. Alright. And I get a D. I, I fucking hate this game's grading system. It is not accurate at all. Like, this is, like, impossible compared to the other ones. You literally need to beat the game in order to, like, get a decent score and go back and live your life, I guess. If that's possible.